Hi there. Welcome to the AVT Simulation Training Center. Virtual reality is a widespread term that is often misused. In today's video, we'll discuss this misuse, as well as explain the differences between AR, VR, and MR, otherwise known as extended reality, or XR. Firstly, X doesn't necessarily stand for extended. It's actually a variable which can be interchanged, as shown here. We'll begin with virtual reality. VR is a fully immersive experience composed entirely of computer-generated environments or 360-degree videos. Virtual reality can be any program that completely changes the environment around the user using sensory stimulators. This is when you actually feel a part of the virtual world. This can be accomplished by using head-mounted displays, abbreviated as HMDs. These HMDs have binaural audio systems as well as small monitors for the eyes for rendering stereoscopic graphics. This technology allows the user to see in three dimensions, as well as hear with depth and directionality. The HMD has positional and rotational real-time head tracking systems with six degrees of freedom to allow the user to look around the virtual world. Some VR systems even have motion controls. These motion controls can be used with handheld controllers like Oculus, or they can be more immersive by using omnidirectional treadmills with waist supports. This allows the user to walk or run in the virtual world without getting tangled or discombobulated or falling. Moving on to augmented reality, AR is different from VR in that it is less immersive. It's actually a combination of the real and virtual worlds using additive or destructive overlaid sensory. Unlike virtual reality, the purpose of AR is to enhance or alter the real world rather than replace it. Virtual displays lay over the real world with positional tracking through an HMD. Alternatively, augmented virtuality is the addition of real-world objects to a virtual environment. Mixed reality is a spectrum between the real world and the virtual world. As Milgram and Cascino put it, it's anywhere between the extrema of the virtual continuum. However, with mixed reality, the virtual world can integrate with the real world. To clarify, virtual objects can be obscured by real objects. This makes the user feel as if the virtual environment is immersed in the real world, rather than feeling immersed in a virtual world like with VR. There's enough here to go on for hours, but we here at AVT Simulation Training Center like to keep things short and sweet. Thanks for training with us, and stay tuned for our next video on the history of extended reality.